much time, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Today we're taking a look at the second of the brand new Sonic and the Black Knight figures created by Jazzwares. Excalibur Sonic with his glow-in-the-dark sword. Oh, you mean, uh, Excalibur? You know, the greatest of all the sacred swords? Package is pretty much the same as Sir Lancelot. The end. Now bring in Excalibur Sonic, the bad boy himself. In all his shiny armor goodness, which is made out of gold. Gold. Gold? You talking about gold plastic? Uh-oh, isn't that a bad thing? No, actually it's not, because none of this is gold plastic. All this is painted in gold. Everything on this figure is gold paint, not plastic. So, yeah, if you were to chip away some of the gold, you will see a different color underneath, which would be sad because you'd be messing up your figure intentionally, which you don't want to do that. So, yeah, points to Jazzwares to thinking that one over instead of making him in gold plastic. Why not just paint him over in gold? And it works. And he's pretty shiny, too, which is so freaking cool, which makes Super Sonic look like a huge failure. No offense. So, haters will be haters. So, I love this figure overall. He is so amazing, so cool. He's got ball joints here, ball joints here, ball joint here, swivel here, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint. Everything on him is just about a ball joint. It's the same amount of articulation as this guy right here. As you can see, he's falling apart on me. I love this figure more than this figure because this figure just pops. He really pops. And he looks amazing on the camera. In real life, what I'm seeing behind this camera doesn't look as good as he does on the camera. I kid you not, this camera makes him look absolutely phenomenal. So cool. He's got a little bit of blue there as well, so I guess he's not fully covered in armor. But, you know, yeah, I mean, if that's the way it looks in the game, I can deal with it. So awesome. He's got a nice flowing cape in the back which people call his butt cape, which I can understand why, because look how close it is. So, yeah, he's well protected in this mode, and it is so awesome. But what is Excalibur Sonic without, you know, his sword? So let's bring in Excalibur, like I said, the greatest of all the sacred swords. And here's the original Caliburn. And as you can see, Excalibur is taller and more durable. Unlike this one right here, which we'll just go ahead and take that away now. And yes, like it said on the package, it does actually glow in the dark. Are you ready for this? There you go. It's glowing. Okay, it's not glowing. I can fix that for you. Get yourself a black light and rub it against this. Yeah. Keep rubbing. Don't stop. Don't stop. Look at that. Yeah, now it's glowing, isn't it? It's losing it pretty quickly. Usually it lasts for at least a minute. There we go. Yeah, lightsaber. Choo, choo, choo. See, it does glow in the dark, but you really need to get yourself a bright light. You know, a, a black light, whatever. So, that's not bad advertisement. I mean, it really does actually glow. And it fits pretty snug in Sonic's hands when you get in, in this little gap right here. See? It's not wobbling all over the place. It stays in there very nice, very firm, very cool. And I can show this off right here. Sonic's visor does actually remove in both pieces. Get him out of the way. And he's got a pretty cool face right there, doesn't he? Very awesome. I mean, this is definitely a major improvement than from the original. As you can see, there's a major difference. I don't know what they were thinking here. Early production, what can I say? This is pretty cool. Very awesome. But, I mean, really, Excalibur Sonic is all about that armor. So, let's go ahead and put that armor back on very carefully as well. Because I still haven't figured out whether or not this is actually painted in gold or if it's molded in gold. My only complaint about this figure would have to be right here. At the top of this crest bit. Right here. It's not detailed as it was in the video game. There was supposed to be, like, some kind of symbol right here, but I guess they couldn't throw it in there because, I mean, it is a 5-inch figure. How much detail could they actually throw on this thing? A lot. Look at the boots. You tell me. Look at those guard bits right there. They've got all their details, so... An oversight, perhaps? But still, I mean... His visor wouldn't be sitting down all the way. It'd be like this if you don't mod it underneath like I've been showing off because I was the first one to do that. 
It, it fits all the way down, and now you can see Sonic sides and close that visor. So awesome. This is an amazing figure, and it's truly one of my holy grails of my collection, if not for my whole entire Sonic collection. This is my holy grail. I love this figure. It is so awesome. And for a quick size comparison, since this guy's out of commission, there you go. So there's the original 5-inch Black Knight Sonic next to Excalibur Sonic. And they're about the same size, even if this Sonic is a little bit smaller. But still amazing. For another size comparison, right there with 3-inch Black Knight Sonic. So yeah, he serves a purpose in my collection as well. As a matter of fact, I would love, as a matter of fact, I'd probably kill for a 3-inch replica of Excalibur Sonic and Sir Lancelot, because I'm sure they could do a lot better when it comes to the joints from this figure to this figure. I mean, really. If they want to make the 3-inch line go on, they're going to have to make some choices to go back and do characters that they haven't done yet in this form, which I would love to see. So that's it, guys. I've got nothing else to say. Now, if only I could figure out what I'm going to review next. Holy crap. Yeah, right, I'm not reviewing this thing. Come on, you're going to have to do better than that. Huh. Well now, looks like we got ourselves a winner. So until the next Red X review, this is Red X signing out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Take